We brought our students to Yellowstone in order to give them an opportunity to experience firsthand this unique location, uh, both in terms of the geology and also the microbiology. So it seems like a great place, a great learning lab. The one thing you should come away from Yellowstone understanding is that there are some pretty horrendous rhyolitic eruptions that have occurred in this area. An incredible amount of material came out. Ash tephra just got blown out of the mountain and it created a void and that was called the caldera. I want to talk about something very, very simple and that's what we're looking at in terms of the microbiology when we look out here. You see gradations in color. Look into the pools that are really, really hot. They look blue. And the reason they look blue is? They're reflecting the sky. They're reflecting the sky because there's effectively nothing growing in them, all right? And as you come out from that, you see a transitions in color because that's different zones of microorganisms. Bringing them here was to look at things and try and break them away from the normal side of biology and get them to look at life in a completely different way. Um, how can life exist at pH 1, pH 2? And how can life exist at 90 degrees? And there is a point where life can exist, but here at Yellowstone, it's living right on those extremes. And so that's a unique thing for the students to see.